Hey folks, welcome back to another video uh, of the S22 Plus Galaxy. Basically, you know, when the S23 lineup came out, I was kind of disappointed given the fact that they were offering, I think, like, trade value, like, 500 bucks for the S22 Ultra, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's more than 50% of the loss value, right? So I'm thinking, why would I buy and all the Samsung phone, especially the Ultra, right? Uh, in this particular case. So, but you know what? I uh, started having some issues with the S22 Ultra, constantly freezing and starting over. I uh, done the latest update, and it seems to me like the battery just can't keep up with it anymore. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I run a couple of diagnostics, nothing comes up. Uh, the battery is a little worn out, Again, that's a really big phone, 6.8, including the S Pen, uh, for a 5,000 milliamp. It's kind of a small battery for how big the, the phone is. But nonetheless, um, <clears throat> Samsung just bumped the trading value to $600. So I took advantage of that, and I decided to get something smaller. The S23 Plus, the Ultra is just massive, man. When you have that thing in your pocket, especially if you go to the gym, uh, it's it's really uh, a burden, if if I might say that. And also, I'm kind of over the whole square uh, corners. I kind of prefer this this look a little bit smaller, six point six. Uh, I already opened this uh, last night just to confirm the order was correct, and it is. But still, let me give you guys the unboxing experience. I haven't taken any of the labels off. Uh, so here we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Man, that's giving me some iPhone iPhone vibes for sure. The whole flat screen. But take a look at the border guys. It's not flat like the iPhone slightly curved which I, I honestly prefer like that because it's a lot easier when you're holding it whereas the iPhone kind of like digs into your palm there for, for a bit uh, but yeah this is absolutely stunning guys I was thinking about getting it in, in that cream color but I actually went to Best Buy to look at it uh, I just kind of didn't like it kind of had like a hint of gold and I haven't had a black phone in years so Decided to go ahead and get a black phone this time. The uh, the best was actually small, but because this is a black phone, the border here on the edge is also black. So it might seem like it's thicker, but it's really not. <clears throat> so let it boot up. There you go, Samsung. Look at that beautiful flat display, man. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take these stickers off. So I can show you guys. Man, it's in your stock. Yeah, it's black. Shining black. So 
Well, there you go, guys. I'm gonna put my information in here, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys with a little bit of a quick review. This month, this phone has already been out for two months. There's a ton of reviews, a bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, it's like eight gigs of RAM, two fifty six standard in the U.S. So you know, three cameras back here. Uh, so Type C has the same trace still. You know, which we got to celebrate that since Apple took that away. Uh, I believe this is a 12 megapixel, the same as in the Ultra. They have the same camera now. Uh, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys with a little bit of a quick update, review on this phone. And everything I'm hearing so far by other YouTubers is that the battery is pretty good. I'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, I would say that's probably the most important thing for me. And uh, I'll load another video very soon, guys. Thank you for watching.